top players on a fitting stage. That's what we're talking about. A match of colossal importance and one that has captured the imagination of anyone with an interest in this great game of football. Now we're truly ready for what will be a showdown. We'll have the action on EA TV. Well, the stage is truly set for what should be a terrific night of football here at Anfield. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It is Liverpool versus Southampton. Will Derek? Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And he's broken free. Couldn't quite hang on. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. But they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. wake-up call for them perhaps and he might be through here and denied by the post the high press was on and that's a and they know they need to stop him fed over towards the back post oh fantastic and in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. This could be troublesome. Oh, a goal for Liverpool, who are now on level terms. Well, let's look at this again. And the keeper just lost his bearings there. He was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. Well, great emotion from Jurgen Klopp, but he's got to get his side to keep... Opportunity! Oh, magnificent from the keeper! Fantastic stop! So the corner played into the box. The clearance wasn't decisive. It's got to be! And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. Well, Klopp has to come up with a game plan. His side are struggling here. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Makes his way in field. Oh, could be. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Smallbone. Oh, good-looking run. 
And a decent save, full credit. Who's going to get on the end of it? And knocked out of there. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. Well, all in all, a struggle for Mohamed Salah to make his presence felt today, Stuart. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage. He's such a good player around the box, but not today. He's been disappointing. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Thing dealing with that cross. A very good tackle. And they might forge ahead. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat trick. A special moment for him. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Well, Klopp has to make some changes now, just to get his team back into this. Liverpool continue to attack with time against them here. And playing it back. This could square the game, but no, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek, the keeper's done really well there, but really that should have been the equaliser, and there's not long left now. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves, and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time, and able to close down the shots. Well, a good place, and the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. If they can score again from this corner... It probably would be the end of the story. Playing it in. Clearing it away. And there goes the final whistle. Not what Liverpool fans anywhere wanted to see. It's a defeat for them. Your assessment? Yes, Derek. They were well off their usual standards today. And with the quality that they have in their squad, I think it's fair for the fans to demand more. Too many bystanders for me. Just not good enough. <laughs>